Hello everybody, welcome back to the video, and in this video I'm going to be talking about the fourth tall tale within the section of the Pirate's Life Tall Tales. So for this one, you have to make your way up above Smuggler's Bay to this Coral Castle place, um, Coral Stronghold, where um, Davy Jones is holding a meeting uh, with, all of, with a bunch of familiar faces. But to start off, you're going to make your way onto the island here. Um, <clears throat> now, there's a commendation for finding another way down, um, which we don't have, you know, don't have yet. Um, to preface this, this is just going to be how to complete it. If you want to watch this beforehand, this is not going to be a guide for, um, or get lost anywhere along the way. This isn't going to be a guide for journals, since there are 10 of them and we found one. Um, that, or a guide for the murals that you have to find, which we found zero of. Um, this can be a simple guide for completing it, just straight up, just getting a completion for it. If you want to find uh, a guide for everything else, I don't know if they're even out yet. I haven't really checked. I've just been doing these myself, um, and I will work on getting those out tomorrow. Now, first off, uh, you're going to come up here, and Mr. Jack is going to play a little play a little music at this, um, at this door, and it will go ahead and open, and you'll make your way into the depths of the Coral Castle. And as I said, there is a commendation for finding another way down. I'm not exactly sure where you would deviate from this path. I assume you have to um, go through the door that Jack opens and then figure out another way down besides the water slide that is behind it. Um, but we will see. I will work on that tomorrow. After Jack opens the door, you're going ahead and follow him into some water tunnels. And um, he will go ahead and face through this rock and open the door for you. Um, open, open the door, open the rock, and then you will make your way into the next chamber and continue on with the tall tale. I kind of thought he was leaving us there and not helping us <laughs> whenever we first played through this. In this next chamber, there's going to be a series of parkour jumps that you have to use, or you have to do to get to the top. Um, there are some, there's a pulley over here to pull this little beam towards you, which I'm pretty sure you can just sword strike across anyway, so there's not really any point. But you make your way all the way up to the top and then move on with the tall tail. Um, just be careful of uh, look above you before you jump because there are little ledges um, that you have to, or adjacent ledges above you that you're going to have to jump like around or under. Because I hit my head on one of them and fell down and had to redo the entire puzzle section. So be careful with those. After that section, we're going to make our way down to a waterfall slide, which. I don't really see if I, maybe there maybe um, maybe for the water slide there's supposed to be like a different direction you're supposed to go on the water slide for the commendation of find another way down, which is a possibility because it looks like there's two paths to go down. Um, so you know, go ahead and you, you can try to go on a different path if you would like. I'm gonna test it out tomorrow, and you slide right into the uh, the chamber with the uh, flying Dutchman in it. For the next step of the tall tale, you're going to make your way onto the Dutchman, and then down low, uh, there is a dagger. You're going to go for a cue to grab the dagger, and Jack is going to take it from you. After you pick up this dagger, um, you will have a door open uh, at the back, and you'll be able to go in and work on playing an organ. For playing the organ, you're going to go ahead and use the book that you see, you know, sitting up as sheet music. It has a code for you that you have to follow, and for my PC friends, uh, to select the different keys, it is uh, A and D, and to actually play it, you have to left-click on the mouse. And you see that I play the correct order here, all of the candles light up, and the room starts to shake, and we start to open a big-ass door that is behind the, uh, I guess the room didn't shake, did it, <laughs> behind, the, uh, behind the boat. And the process for this door actually opening takes a long-ass time. Um, o ocean crawlers and all that kind of all those kind of new enemy and shit they spawn on the outer outer skirts of the uh, of the boat and they shoot shots at you and they shoot cannons at you and all that kind of crap and then um, all of the mermaids that you use actually have to activate which are different waves you'll hear wave music uh, after killing a certain amount of skeletons so you can use the skeletons enemies whatever you whatever you want to call them you can use the cannons to take out these uh, new enemy types, as well as you get the tridents on the boat and your you know, normal weapons because they will be boarding um, during the waves. You clear all of these waves and then the door behind the boat will finish opening. So just keep up, uh, keep, uh, keep up on your food. There's a bunch of food and cannonballs around the mast right behind me where I am right now. 
um, and just work on killing all of the uh, all of the enemies. Mermaids do spawn in the water and shoot you. You don't have to kill them to progress any waves, which is nice. So just kill the enemies that board and kill. After the door opens off the back side of the uh, the massive boat, you will be into a next cha into a new chamber where you have to kill a bunch of mermaids, and then you are required to uh, uh, float up your own parkour basically. And as you see me flip a coral lever, uh, I believe that correlates to a little side Easter egg type deal. Um, I don't think we found all of the coral levels we needed to because we found like three, four, or five. Or we found like three or four of them, I think. We did not find, I don't think, all of them. So keep your eyes peeled for those coral level levers as well. You see me come down here to these, uh, these thin ropes and you go ahead and cut them and you will float up your own parkour. After that, you're going to have to do a series of you know parkour jumps as well as uh, mermaid statue puzzles from uh, that, were very, that are very similar to the original ones from the second doll tale. You make your way over to this uh, little area in the room where you can get lifted up on a box, um, and Mr. Jack will use his newfound powers to open a door for you behind this waterfall. You will follow him up, and he will talk to you for a long-ass time, and then he will give you a heart stone to finish the mermaid puzzle that is uh, in the room that he is talking to you in. And it looks like a room that would have a journal in it. Couldn't find any journals, so I guess, I mean, you guys have fun trying to find all the roommate murals and stuff. <laughs> and after you, um, after Jack opens it and he talks to you and he gives you the her her mermaid heart gem, you will place it into one of the mermaids and then you will do the mermaid puzzle in the room. Now, to do these mermaid puzzles, um, if you don't already know, you have to uh, look at what is, uh, what position the trident needs to be in and you need to hit it enough times for it to be in that position. Um, and then, you, you know, of course, to correspond to certain mermaids, you will look in their hands and see what they're holding. You see this one is holding grass, and it needs to be uh, all the way down. So I hit it, and it goes all the way down. Easy peasy, baby. And then for this section, um, it is a little more confusing than the last one, which was pretty straightforward. Um, you have to uh, go around the room uh parkouring up to certain spots uh, using pulley systems, and you will uh, be able to find these certain mermaids. Now, you saw me complete the mermaid that had the grass or coral in its hand. You can go over here and see one you can't really see the hand of, but that one is the chain mermaid, which is corresponding with the mural on the wall. I don't know if these are like the secret murals or not. Um, the murals on the wall, and you can go ahead and snipe it down into the correct uh, position. See, it goes to middle there, and then the final one is above you, and that is the stone one, or the heart one. Um, I guess it is actually the heart one, because it has a heart symbol on the wall. That one needs to be full up, and then the main one is there. You snipe that one, and it does a pulse throughout the room, which um, will uh, trigger the mermaids and stop the waterfall that is in front of the boat here, which is stopping you from getting up onto the next level. After that, you're going to want to get on the pulley that is next to the grass mermaid, or the coral mermaid, and you're going to want to lift this entire uh, section here. And, you know, either if you're playing solo, run across yourself, or let your run, friend run across, and then you're going to want to uh, drop it and make a mad dash for the other side, because it does start to drop it the second you let go. As you can see, you do have plenty of time to get over there. Nothing too crazy. Uh, it doesn't drop really fast. And you're moving on to the next little puzzle. Now, after that, you're going to follow your way up to the path and get to this next little uh, little puzzle where both mermaid statues seem to be holding them up. And there's only two this time. And then you snipe the main mermaid that is across the way uh, over uh, yonder in that little, um, that little cubby hole over there. And then the door will go ahead and open up. After you make your way into the next room, there's going to be a bunch of enemies you have to kill before you can move on. Um, there is an armory as well as um, ammo down there, so you can change whatever weapons you want and then do you know really whatever you want. However you want to kill the skeletons or the enemies, go ahead and kill them, and then move on to the next section of the Tall Tale. After you take care of the enemies, you're going to run over to this uh, doorway, and there will be a geyser that you're going to go ahead and run over, and it will put you up into the ceiling. 
And after you get up into the ceiling, you're going to make your way up to the little rope that is there, and you're going to slash it with your sword, and the door is going to fall. After that, you're going to make your way into another room with a bunch of mermaid statues yet again, because we use these a lot in this Tall Tale series, apparently. And you're going to follow along with the pictures on the wall and go ahead and get yourself, um, get the water rising so you can get out of this little chamber. Uh, chains is down, um, the stone is in the middle, and then the last one is all the way up. The grass is all the way up at the top. And then we see, we go ahead and shoot the main bitch here, and she will start raising the water for us. After that section, you're going to find yourself in a room with two pulleys. You're going to pull up the first uh, beam here, go over to the second pulley, and pull up the second beam so you can get yourself across. Now, these do start falling, as most of the other beams do as well. Um, so go ahead and get these pretty quick, but you do have time, because you can see that I mess up a good bit here. And I can get all the way across, and my friend can also get all the way across. Now, leading up to this point, you're going to go ahead and jump down the slide, and you're not going to do what I do. Um, my dumb ass is seeing this door, thinking there might, there might be a way to open this door. And uh, I walk into this mermaid, and uh, then I jump into the mermaid, and I get stuck in the wall, and I have to restart my game. My teammate goes ahead and jumps down the slide, and then I jump myself into this corner that I can't get out of. And you see here, I am stuck. So I have to restart my game, and I miss a lot of dialogue. At the bottom of this hill, I won't, I'm actually not even going to spoil it. I'm not going to spoil what's down there, because I don't even get to see it. So I don't really know what happened. <laughs> so you can find out what's at the bottom of the waterfall for yourself. It's nothing important, it's a bunch of dialogue and cutscenes. Now in the room, uh, at the bottom of the slide, um, there's, a bunch of, there's a bunch of puzzle crap in there that we don't really know how to do. Um, we, didn't, we didn't finish any of it, because we found nothing to help us finish it, and I missed out on the dialogue, so I don't even know if there are any dialogue cues for any of it. Um, but after this room, you can go ahead and make your, room, uh, make your way into the little boss fight of this uh, tall tale. So the contents of this, um, this ba boss battle is very simple. All you really have to do is you know, kill the enemies and survive, while Mr. Jack Sparrow shoots them with cannons, and you can kill them yourself. Uh, occasionally, Jack uh, will need you to pull a pulley around the room. They're all on the bottom level. Uh, they shouldn't have to go up top at all. That area is Jack, so he can cannon and send you down supplies. Um, all you have to do is pull the pulleys. So the first pulley is going to be near the entrance of the room, like right next to this boat. And then the next pulley that you're going to have to pull is going to be right next to um, Davy Jones and the Gold Hoarder. Uh, if you didn't know the Gold Hoarder was in this boss fight, I'm sorry. Um, he's back. Um... And then you, you shouldn't have to do anything else for him. He takes care of a lot of the enemies, and there's tridents in the room that you can use to take care of the enemies. And it is a fairly simple boss fight until the gold hoarder shows up halfway through. <laughs> you kill a bunch of monsters, then Davy Gones gives some, uh, gives some audio about gold hoarder, you know, deal with them yourself. And he'll come out of their little protective bubble, and he will come out and fight you. Uh, the boss fight is pretty much the same as the normal gold hoarder with, I mean, a little bit of a twist to it. Uh, whenever he does his, um, whenever he does his uh, summoning, you know, summon skeletons attack, he summons the, um, you know, the special new enemies that are part of the update. So you know, be aware of that. Um, he will be summoning those instead of his normal summons. Uh, he can still dig. He can still slam. And I don't know if it's intended or not intended, but his slam attacks are only doing like quarter HP. So you know, enjoy that while you can. You defeat the Gold Hoarder, and then he'll, you know, teleport himself back in there. Um, Jack will drop you down two cannons, and you will cannon at Davy Jones and him and his little protective bubble as they flee. Your good pal Jack drops you down two cannons. It, it might scale with the amount of players you have. Since there's two of us, he drops down two cannons for us to use against the uh, little boss fight. There's also two kegs over there, which I'm not sure why there were two kegs. But he gets on one cannon, and then you can get on the other one, which... It's cool, and you can go ahead and just cannon their little protective barrier while, you know, Davy Jones is doing what he needs to do, and we just lose this battle. So he becomes, you know, an all-powerful being, and you have to fight, face off against him in the, uh, the next Tall Tale. Um, but other than that, that's all there is for the Tall Tale. I will work on getting the rest of the commendations and shit um, done and then made into videos um, tomorrow. It is currently 2.05 a.m. at the time I'm recording this. 
and this is the first one of my tutorials besides the first tall tale that I'm recording because this one was the shortest. Um, so I will be up until like 6 a.m. doing this. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.